In DevOps interviews, when the interviewer asks you to explain the stages of your pipeline, don't just list them. Clearly explain what each stage does and its purpose. Hi guys, today is day 20 of the DevOps interview question series. Below is a Jenkins declarative pipeline for a Java based application deployed to a Kubernetes cluster. So the first stage is Git checkout where it pulls the latest code from Git repository and it ensures the pipeline always runs against the most recent commit. And the second stage is secret scans using git leaks. So where it scans the code base for hard coded secrets in case if someone hard coded or pushed to the git repository like AWS keys or passwords or any API tokens. So git leaks will detect these and fails the build earlier. So this acts as a early stage security gate. This helps to prevent secret leaks into the CI/CD system. And the third stage is code quality using sonar cube where this stage performs static code analysis using sonar cube it will detect bugs vulnerabilities and check code quality to ensure clean secure code before proceeding to the next stage and the fourth stage is unit test so this step checks if the code is working correctly or not it runs small tests written by the developers if any test fails the pipeline will stop here and the fifth stage is docker build and push where it creates a docker image for the application using a docker file and then it pushes the image to the container registries like docker hub or ecr and the sixth stage is security scan using trivi where it scans the docker image for OS level vulnerabilities and CVEs where it fails the pipeline if any high or critical issues are found and it reinforces container security in your DevSecOps pipeline and the seventh stage is deploy to dev environment where it deploys the docker image to the EKS dev namespace this stage uses kubectl set image to update the deployment with the new image and it uses pre-configured kube config file and then it deploys to the test environment it is similar to dev deployment but targets the test namespace in Kubernetes and this stage used for enabling the integration testing and the next stage is deployed to staging environment where it targets the stage namespaces in the Kubernetes cluster and typically used for load testing or pre-prod validations and the next stage is approval for production which is needed before releasing to production this step is a manual checkpoint for production deployment where it requires manual intervention to approve or reject the promotion which acts as a final verification step before going live and the final stage deploy to production where it deploys the app to the real live production environment and it uses the same step as earlier deployments it deploys the image to the prod namespace after approval and it's a final step in the ci cd chain where it promotes the build to production follow for more real world devops interview scenario questions see you in day 21